Hey everyone, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy and I am super excited today to show you a new pair of shoes uh, that I recently acquired. Uh, this is a pair of Gaziano and Girling St. James 2. This is on the TG73 last. And this is my first pair from Gaziano and Girling and I couldn't be happier. The, uh, you know, the little pamphlet that comes with them talks about, you know, what's important, uh, you know, great wear out of the box. They talk about the workmanship, the craftsmanship, the quality, uh, the bespoke quality sh materials that are in the shoes uh, right out of the gate. And, you know, I've got to admit, this just, <laughs> this kind of fits all of those bills. So, um, in interviews that I've seen with, uh, uh, with Tony Gaziano, he's talked about the fact that they get one pair of shoes per hide, um, and they and they really make sure that they get the best leather to work with. Um, they talk about cutting being so important, and there's a lot of things here that you just don't see, right? So I'm going to walk you through a couple other things that I really like. Uh, first, it's got a, a single piece on the heel, and it doesn't have any seams on the heel cap. Now, that's unusual. Usual, there's a... Uh, a seam right here. Uh, some ma manufacturers have a little seam down at the bottom. That's pretty common with Alden and, and with a couple of others. But here it's completely seamless. So they just took a lot of time to cut it right and and to be able to make sure that it goes across the uh, the shoe the right way. Now this is a very wide Adelaide. Um, the uh, the lines on the shoe is another part that I really like. I, you guys know that I like the the rise on the toes. Now this is much more subtle than it is on some, but I feel like it really flows with the shoe very well. And this is not part of their Art Deco line, or their Deco line, uh, but I do feel like the, the last on this, the overall shape, is really just a step above um, pretty much any shoe in my collection. It's really very, very fine. Uh, the, uh, the sole itself, this is an oak bark tan sole, uh, which they say that they uh, get from, uh, from England and uh, a place, they're the only ready-to-wear maker that's using this particular tannery that's usually used by the bespoke makers. Um, and you can see just the work that they've done here on the sole is just really, really phenomenal. Uh, the fiddleback really has a nice line to it and the, uh, even the heel, the combination heel is good and you see how they've done the nails with three 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 and three just again classic simple you know they're not throwing 25 nails on the heel like an old floor shine uh, but they're or, or 60 like an old floor shine but they're also doing a, uh, a classic job of making sure that everything is secure using that I mean their whole strategy is it's British workmanship with Italian comfort and I really like that. And I've got to say, from putting these shoes on the first time, uh, I was I was absolutely in love with them. They they fit perfectly. They feel great on the foot, and um, certainly something that I can wear all day. And uh, I'm excited to do so. So, now in terms of price, um, these run 900 pounds. Um, I was able to work with a dealer and get something um, for. Uh, for, for a little bit less, they also were running a sale at the time, and I'm sure it's connected to that. Uh, so I'm very happy with them, and uh, feel like it's a uh, it's a great opportunity for me to try out the brand, and something that I really look forward to trying uh, more of in the future. So, Gaziano and Girling St. James, uh, worth the price, absolutely. If you're if you're really into shoes, and or you um, are really looking to build your wardrobe in a very, very high-end way, uh, definitely a shoe that uh, I would recommend. So i uh, had nothing but good luck with them so far. Um, I will certainly revert back in three months and six months and let you know how it's going. Thanks much and thanks for watching.